And now we close uh, to close out the year. <laughs> Money is a uh, is a top of mind for a lot of folks right now. I recently talked with financial expert about what you should be doing the last few days of 2020 to set yourself up financial success next year. Here is that conversation. Tis the season of the holiday hustle and bustle, but now is a great time to talk about your year in tax investments and the moves you're going to make and maybe should consider before January. Here to talk about a very timely topic is financial expert Jeremy Shipp from Retirement Capital Planners, and we welcome him back to Virginia this morning. Hey, buddy, good to see you again. Hi, hey, good to see you, Bill. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you very much. Hope you had a great one. Uh, let's talk a little turkey right now about money and uh, this time of the year. And I've got a list of things and questions we're going to ask you about. Some of them, I don't even know what they mean, but that's why you're here. <laughs> Some of them, I think I got a little idea, a little bit of a clue. Uh, it now is a great time to kind of go ahead and take a look and make some assessments of where you are. Isn't that right? Uh, yeah, it, it sure is. And actually, Bill, this time of year, we're used to seeing the Charlie Brown season uh, quite a quite a bit, seeing them on TV. And uh, it's that type of season. I don't know about you, but when I've watched Charlie Brown and the Peanuts, uh, something that always comes across to me is that when the parents are talking, it's always a wah, 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 wah uh, type of thing. And what I've seen is that when I talk to people about finance or when I talk to folks about it, a lot of times it sounds uh, the same way to them, and it, and it actually relates pretty well to what we're talking about today. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, sometimes when, when you get going and it's like, I don't understand what he's saying, but it sounds really interesting and important. So it's the well, same thing. For Not instance, quite wah, 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 but, a, but, but you know, you got it. <laughs> it. Exactly. So for instance, if I said this phrase to you, Bill, um, now, Bill, we're getting close to retirement, so we want to make sure that your qualified plans are allocated properly so that when we take into account your marginal tax rates and calculate your safe withdrawal rate, we can properly mitigate your inflation and longevity risks. Now. Does that I understand. sound like English or did that sound a little wah wah why? <laughs> now I you promise you it. I well, was saying real words and talking about real <laughs> concepts. All right. So yeah. the first rule is when we get into these complicated pieces, is people should demand and not feel frustrated about asking for help for their financial advisor so they can keep things simple and cut through the noise. So yeah. why don't we just break down those phrases and kind of talk about what they are? So easiest thing would be to start with those qualified plans. And that sounds pretty complicated, but the easiest way to think about that is qualified plans mean retirement plans. So think 401k, IRA, your Roth IRA, those types of things. Okay, so qualified plans means retirement plans. Does that make better sense? Sure. Yeah, Good. thank you. So yeah. the next one would be our um, inflation. All right. Now we can think about that in a couple of different ways. Most people think of inflation, meaning that the costs of things get more expensive every year. Another way we can think about it is that the value of your dollar goes down and down in value every year. And that just means that later on in retirement, you're going to need more income to live the same type of lifestyle and spend the type of money you are today. Okay. So that's a little bit more about inflation. And then when we get to longevity, that's real simple. Just don't run out of money in retirement. Okay. So just don't run out. All right. That's what that's longevity the main plan. Is. Don't run out. You got to do all that's, those other things. To make sure so that's you know. how we can yeah. kind of keep it simple. Right. Yeah. Now, when we break down and cut through the noise and confusion, things like marginal tax rates and safe withdrawal rate, marginal tax rates <clears throat> simply means that the more taxable income you have, the higher tax rate you pay on that money. So the more you take, you need to take into account you're going to pay more in taxes because as we all know, it's not about how much you make, it's about how much you keep, which allows you to spend what you want in retirement. So we, we good on tax rates real quick? Yeah, sure. Perfect. Yeah, Next great. thing is that safe withdrawal rate. Now, that's an infamous phrase in my world of retirement planning. And what that is, is that's a, how much money can we take out of our retirement accounts to satisfy our needs in retirement and not run out? It's usually a percentage. So as an example, let's say we had $100,000 saved up in our 401k and we were going to withdraw $50,000 a year for retirement spending. 
Well, that's a 50% withdrawal rate. And I would argue that's not very safe unless you're planning on only having a two year retirement. Okay. So those <laughs> rates could be anywhere between two and 10%, just depending on a lot of other factors, what products you have and those types of deals. So does that make more sense as far as what a safe withdrawal rate is? Yeah, and of course, you know, most of us are planning 20, 25 years of retirement, not two. So we, let's let's back pump the brakes on that one a little bit. That's exactly right. So we want to make it safe. And the whole idea comes back to let not be frustrated, demand that the financial advisors, financial people you have are talking to, that you feel comfortable asking those questions and having them explain things in real understandable terms. And when they can do that and they can maybe decode all of those technical jargon phrases that are so common in my industry, that same phrase may sound something like this. Now, Bill, let's take a look at your 401k and make sure that it's set up the right way so that after we take out taxes, you're going to be able to withdraw the right amount of money to sustain your lifestyle throughout retirement and not run out. Now, oh, does that I got you now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks that's for making. All right, I got one. I got through. one phrase that's on your sheet here that I've got. It says tax loss harvesting. What in the heck is that? Well, we are in the harvest season, so it's a great time to talk here <laughs> as far as how we harvest. So that is a, a very technical piece. We want to cut through the noise on tax loss harvesting, and that is talking about if we have some opportunities to take money from investments that maybe have some losses on paper, we can actually use that to help offset our tax position at the end of the day. That way we can keep more money in our pocket and less going out the door to Uncle Sam. Oh, that's what the rich guys do. Oh, I know, I know that one now. <laughs> I've never been in that category, but I'm working towards it with your help. Jeremy, yeah, always right. good to talk to you, buddy. Thanks for breaking it down for us. Thank you, Bill. Have a great one. All right, and happy holidays to you. And for more information, you're going to find the link on our show website by early this afternoon at WTBR.com slash VTM. Please stick around. We'll be right back with a bunch more. <laughs> 